another Bowling Green story. Uh, in fact, just a few weeks after I was scared to walk down a hallway that uh, turned out to be haunted. Uh, but before Halloween, there was a bloodmobile on campus, and uh, I am typo, universal donor, yay me. So I went to give blood, and it ended up being, I think, like my two gallon donation. So party all the time. Uh, and I went with uh, one of my fellow grad students. Uh, she was a Spanish uh, grad student, but that was okay. Uh, so Liz and I went to um, give blood. It wasn't in the haunted building. It was in uh, uh, the community center or whatever they called it, in a huge multi-purpose room, bigger than this room. And um, I come from medical people. My mom was a nurse. My dad was a hospital administrator. So I was quite comfortable in that milieu and um, giving blood was something I actually enjoyed doing. You know, it's like, you want it? Great. If it'll help you, take it, please. But um, I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm a white woman, <laughs> um, uh, which means, uh, among other things, I carry a lot of guilt with me. Um, it also, uh, I happen to be a very, very pale, complected person. Um, one reason I think I'm not married is that uh, I look horrible in white. I just, I just can't do it. So no, no, you ask if you want to, but no, 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 I, I, I'm going to say no. But um, I had got, uh, given my, how, how much do you give, pint, gallon, however much you give it in one time. And it was Halloween, so the nurse had drawn a little pumpkin on my arm with a bated eye. It was like, oh, isn't, that, isn't that nice? That's very cool. And uh, Liz finished about the same time I did, so we're over in the canteen having our orange juice after giving blood, blood, blood orange. <laughs> and the purpose of that is uh, manifold. You uh, need to replace some fluids, so you drink your water and you drink your orange juice and you need some cookies to get your blood sugar back up. Back up. And also, they don't tell you, but it's also so the nurse is there in the guise of cookie pushers are actually keeping an eye on you to make sure that you're okay because you've just bled into this bag and you might, I don't know, feel faint or something. And so we're sitting there uh, having our cookies, talking grad school stuff, you know, like you do. And um, I happened to notice across the room, way over in the other end of the room, a nurse looks up and she looks alarmed. Like, what? And she starts walking briskly over, not running, but you know, that brisk kind of, okay, you know, something's wrong, but I don't want to alarm anyone, walk right over to me. She's like, are you okay? Are you all right? I'm like, yeah, I think so. I, I use more juice if you're, if that's what you came across the room to, to offer. Um, she's like, oh, you just look so pale. <laughs> I thought you were going to faint. <laughs> No, I'm good, and um, I think that the nurses that are right here were probably beyond that, <laughs> but thank you for coming across the room. And the other nurses were kind of like looking at me too, like, oh, are you sure? Yeah, she does look pale, are you okay? And I'm like, I'm fine, I'm fine, leave me alone, I'm fine. And after the first worried nurse went back to her post and the other nurses went back to filling orange juice glasses and giving out cookies, my friend Liz said, I don't feel so good. <laughs> <laughs> and they were right on her, but I, I felt a little bad. Um, again, that white woman guilt. Um, I think that in the lights, I radiated a little too much, and I over <laughs> they couldn't see that she wasn't feeling well because because of me. I'm sorry, Liz, but she's okay. <laughs> okay.